my name is Lexi. And I'm Rachel. And we're coming to you live from the Schooner Restaurant and Lounge located here on beautiful Natards Bay. And we hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Cheers. Cheers. These are clams that are harvested here in Natards Bay. There's the cockles, gapers, butters, and little necks. And today we're going to be going into more in-depth detail on butter clams, otherwise known as quahogs, and little necks, otherwise known as steamer clams. These clams, um, they're very similar to an oyster, and we're going to use an oyster shucking knife to uh, open these up. But the difference from an oyster is you only just have one abductor muscle in an oyster. With the clams, we have two. So we're gonna have to go in on both sides of the shell to release that muscle. So there you have, you've got the clam open. You're gonna wanna get all of that meat out. And you wanna go to, you're gonna want to loosen it on both sides. If your oyster shucking knife isn't um, as firm as ours are here at the restaurant, you can always use just a sharp knife. So at this point, we're going to find the, the stomach and the goo, and you're going to kind of just cut that, scrape it, scrape it out if need be. Might have to do a little cutting. And just kind of get all that black technical term goo out of there. <laughs> And then you're just left with all this clam meat. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. And then go ahead and put it in your clam. Clam bowl. <laughs> clam meat bowl. Another technical term. There are a variety of ways that you can prepare these butter clams for eating. Um, this way, if you don't take the clams out of the shell, you can just clean the guts out of here and stuff the this, goo. The, the, goo. the goo, sorry, <laughs> the goo, and um, stuff them with cheese, breadcrumbs, and herbly goodness, and bake them in the oven. Um, another way to do them is you take your shucked clam, and you can tenderize the neck a little bit right here, and... Um, Soak them in buttermilk overnight, which tenderizes the clam a little bit, and then you bread them with panko and a little bit of cornmeal and pan fry them. They're absolutely delicious, especially with some good tartar sauce. And then they're also very commonly used for clam chowder. So here we have two pounds of Little Necks, aka steamer clams. You, to prep these, you don't really need to do much. You can soak them in some cold water for up to an hour to help get any residual sand out of their system. But other than that, they're good to go as is. And today we're going to be making our steamer clams with chorizo butter found here at the schooner in normal times. Um, to start, we have some shallots. And you can use any kind of onion you happen to have at home. Um, sweet or yellow is fine. And then we have some finely minced garlic. We have a dried cured chorizo, but feel free to use a fresh chorizo or even a spicy Italian sausage, whatever you have on hand. Um, some parsley, sage, and chives from my garden. And again, you can use whichever kind of herbs you happen to have at home. Um, we're gonna, we have some olive oil, Jacobson kosher salt, red pepper flakes, lemon, and dry sherry, but feel free to use any kind of dry white wine you happen to have at home. So let's get started. Tablespoons of oil into a preheated pan, and then you want to add your chorizo. Now with the dried chorizo, you just want to make sure that it gets nice and brown, and a lot of those really good oils get released. With a fresh sausage, you want to make sure that it gets cooked through and properly browned before adding any of the other ingredients. But this is dry, so we don't have this, to worry about it. Yeah, this is dry, so we're all good. So once you start seeing some nice brown on the edges of there, you can go ahead and add your shallots and your garlic. <laughs> so my little 
blending real good. And you just want to let those go for a couple of minutes until the shallots and the garlic have softened a little bit and have a nice brown on them. We have a nice brown on our shallots and garlic. We want to add our steamer clams. Yeah. With this, we want to add a pinch of red pepper flakes, a pinch of salt, and the juice from one half of a lemon. And go ahead and throw that lemon rind into there because there are a lot of really good oils that come out here. And you want to toss to coat everything. Probably about two thirds of your herbs. So you got some parsley, fresh sage, and then probably about two tablespoons of butter, and toss it up. At this point, you'll start to see some steamer clams opening, which means that you're doing everything right. <laughs> and now you want to deglaze the pan with approximately a quarter to a third of a cup of sherry or white wine. And then put a lid on it for a couple of minutes. All right, now that it's been a couple of minutes, all of our steamer clams should be open. Any that aren't open are, were dead before and should be discarded. Um, so let's go ahead and take a peek. There it is. Mm. Seriously, the smell's coming off of this. smell of vision All right, everything's looking really good. We got a nice amount of broth in there. So at this point, you wanna add your last little bit of butter, more butter and everything. Um, a little butter bit. Butter makes it better. Butter makes it oh, better. Yeah. A little bit more lemon juice, and the rest of your herbs. Do you want to put that other rind in there, or can you leave that one? Out? You can leave that one out. And you just want to serve it in a bowl with some nice bread and you got a great appetizer or you can I can definitely make a meal out of this okay. there Bam. you go steamer Bam. clams Bam. with chorizo Bam. butter Bam. 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 <laughs> thanks again for joining us here at the schooner restaurant and lounge on beautiful Neatarts Bay cheers, cheers. <laughs>